ignition door key for my 1977 GMC Eleganza 2. So, um, the fella and I were finally able to come to an arrangement on uh, this motor coach, which I have now basically all the way moved into. Um, spent the last five nights here in the motor coach and moved out of the cabin. Um, yeah, it's, it's working out pretty well. Capone seems to be enjoying himself and has found that the back bedroom is nice and cozy and gives him the opportunity to look out and see all kinds of stuff what's going on here at the mechana mecca restoration shop in blairsville georgia that's not the name that's just what i'm calling it right now um but yeah we we made a deal on uh this thing for halfway to crazy um, if you guys remember this was the motor coach that the fellow was asking thirty five thousand dollars for um, and my situation was pretty desperate um, i had two options either end up making a deal on this motor coach and staying here in blairsville or selling all of my crap and getting a small trailer and moving back to Texas, as that that was my only options. Um, I couldn't afford to, to rent something here or buy something um, with my current predicament. And we'll get into all of that here in a little while. We're just gonna focus on the motor coach for now. Um, here, let me flip this thing back around. All right, yeah, stuff, lots of stuff, my guitars and helmets and whatnot. Um, it does fire up and run, it's got 70, thousand miles on it. it it happily fires up and run it wants to go forward and back um, the brakes all work the rears have been completely rebuilt it's got new bags in the rear <clears throat> both uh, rooftop ACs and heaters do work and I'm actually running this one right now in uh, unison with this little guy and it was like I don't know 17 18 degrees last night and me and the boy were toasty warm, curled up back here. Uh, got my coffee moved in, my cigarette making station and all that. Yeah, it's, it's downsized. It's a lot smaller than uh, the whole cabin that I was in before, but really, realistically, I only used one room of the cabin. That was all that was usable. The rest of the cabin was unlivable and only suitable for storage. So volumetrically and square footage wise, um, we've actually gone up a little bit, you know, 10 or 15 square feet or so that is our actual living space. So that's not too bad. Got my, one of my TVs up and set up and that should work where it's at. I need to do something with my others. <laughs> These are really, uh, computer monitors. Um, but yeah, learning lots and lots about the, the motor coach. Um, the only thing really that I found that does not work as of right now is the on dash AC and heater and I think that's probably just a, a fuse pop somewhere or the blower motor uh, for the fan is popped and the other issue is the ride leveler electro level uh, the pump works it does kick on it does make pressure the valves for the release seem to work. The valves for the air up seem to work, but it's kind of acting like the bogey pins might be locked up or something because it just doesn't want to move. Probably just need to take it down the road and rattle everything loose. My bows, my fishing poles. Yeehaw. Um, microwave works, obviously. Uh, this one does not have the onboard vacuum system. I thought it did or it was hidden in here somewhere, but apparently it is not. Um, the generator, um, at first I thought it was locked up because when you try and start it, 
you just get a click like it's like it's trying it engages the starter and then it binds and stops uh, but yesterday i went and pulled the face off of the generator and put a wrench on the crank pulled the plug squirted some pb down in them and it, it wasn't stuck at all it just spun free so i need to put a fresh battery in the back that's all that is um think i'm more here in a little while oh the uh radio works cigarette lighter works fuel tank switch and bat normal bat boost switch works um lights work all the way around the wipers actually work um cb works a little fan up here kicks on and runs and it's kind of got this little neat little yoink You know, it's two speed. I guess it's a 12 volt DC. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's working out. Got all my meats in my freezer. Still need to put some food in the fridge. I got the eggs. We're getting there. Oh, one little problem here. The microwave at some point popped loose from up here in the back while uh the coach was going down the road and and kind of was trying to fall so it got a little stick there to prop it up but i did get a little update on how long this thing has actually sat uh, and it hadn't been 10 years um that was just the first rough uh guesstimate that the, that the fella kicked out and he couldn't remember that two and a half maybe three years ago uh he and his his uh missus took this thing down to South Florida and back a little over a thousand miles um, with no issues other than that is when the um, dash AC and heater stopped working again it's probably just a fuse or something simple um, it's got a new new um, inverter charger and most of the wiring and everything looks like it has been, you know, unmolested for the most part. We've got uh, an extension cord feeding the inverter from um, shore power there. And that's charging the batteries. I'm running the 12-volt the lights and whatnot. Um, the water pump does work. The water heater does work. It's got a gas furnace. It does work. Um, the paint... Um, I was concerned about it being pretty grody and nasty on the outside, but uh, it's actually not too bad. It just needs a bath. Again, the windows for sure need to be resealed, so I need to get uh, with Mr. Bounds and see if maybe I can get some parts. The little rubbers are starting to come off there. Only a couple little spots on the paint here and there where it's got some bubbly going on like that. The rest of it's in pretty good dang shape. I took the little shiny thing off the back so Capone could see out. And I've got uh, Gorilla Tape up there that's really stuck. i got to get off. <clears throat> Cover's still up on the generator. I need to put new terminals on those cables or replace the cables. And i got a battery sitting there for it. But yeah, it's got the Zip D's on both sides. They all work. So I didn't do too bad um, for 15, I think. Just needs a bath. Little stuff here and there. I see some of y'all folks asking nine, ten thousand dollars for gutted machines that just go down the road. And that's it. This one's complete and everything works. So I'm kind of disgusted with you guys' um, estimate of like 2,500 to five grand. Um, just because it's a little dirty. So y'all can go screw yourselves. All right, this is a three owner now coach. The original owner was a Mr. John B. Calhoun. And then uh, he sold it to the fellow that I bought it from. So three owner is, is do you anybody know this guy? Uh, maybe if you do update them on uh the motor coach changing hands again um but yeah it was very well taken care of very well taken care of but this fella ordered uh let's see what was this 
it got a new fresh tank and a belt and hose kit and that was in 1998 or 99 the hose and belt kit is right there in that brown packaging and there's one of the hoses the new tank is already installed so it's got a new fresh water tank well in 98 Welcome to the machine. 